Hi, I'm Eric Cummings, the Safety Industry Manager with Ross Controls. Here to talk about risk assessment, and specifically some of the pneumatic issues that come up when it comes to risk assessment. Risk assessment is a requirement in any machine guarding standard that's been updated really over the last decade or more. And the fluid power system is part of the safety related parts of the control system as defined in those standards. So if anyone can put a body part into a point of operation, you must determine the risk to which they are exposed. Currently, the international standards reference 150 newtons or 15 kilograms, which is roughly 33 pounds of force or 33 pounds of mass, as the threshold at which additional safety measures must be taken in a system. For pneumatics, this corresponds to any cylinder that's really greater than one inch and many that are just at the three quarter inch size at typical plant pressures that we see. Now your typical fluid power designs are created for functionality of the circuit or the system. Frequently they'll use a spring return valve to try to go to a safe condition. They're not necessarily designed with the complete control integrity of a safety system in mind. So the questions that a designer must consider are, what happens if the valve sticks? What happens if that spring breaks? What happens if you lose the supply pressure? Is there mass and gravitational forces that are involved because of that? What if a valve is shifted accidentally? If the force threshold is reached and it's a single channel circuit, it's not gonna provide the control integrity that's required by today's standards to ensure the safety and protect our employees. While Ross Controls does not perform risk assessments, we'll be glad to talk to you about your circuit designs and what applications you have. If you want more information, you can also download our safety book at www.rosscontrols.com or give us a call at 1-800-GET-ROSS. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.